Right then, so what we're going to go through today is how you can make cards, not cards, event private. So by this, I'm just going to go on to my calendar. So when you're on my calendar, you can see four events. These are the events that people can choose if they were just to go to my main calendar and not be linked to anything. And these are something that anyone right now watching this could buy, okay? But this isn't the whole events that I have. So that if we actually look in my back end, there is actually more than just them events, okay? So we've got three, six, nine, 11 actual different events there on my calendar. But when someone goes to it, they can only see this. And I see a lot of people making the mistake of where if you went to theirs, you can literally see all their private ones that are just for clients and things like that by just going to their main URL, which obviously you don't want for people booking events that they shouldn't be able to book. So how you do this is you make it secret. So just for this one, for instance, so this is our tech strategy support calls. Okay, so it's called tech support strategy calls. And as you can see, you can see this on here. And that is literally because, as it says here in the description, you must be a tech support client before you book this event. Okay, you must be a tech support client. So to make it so that no one can see the link to it and it's private, what we do is when you go to here, when can people book this event, what you need to do is scroll down to the bottom and then click additional rules for your calendar. And then right down here, keep going. And then you can see here, right at the bottom, this little tick box, make this a secret event. So if I untick this and I'm just gonna press save and close. And let me just refresh this screen now you can see it. So you can actually see this call. And a lot of people make this mistake because then if someone finds this, they can book that call and I don't want them to be able to. So again, we just need to make sure that we take underneath the additional rules, make this a secret event, save and close. And again, if we refresh, you will not be able to see it. And it makes a huge, huge difference when it comes to your calls and the organization of it all. So hopefully you found this super, super quick video, nice and easy for you to be able to actually figure out if this is something you need to do, have a look in your own back end. An easy way to see it is, so if I was in calendar back end, if it's got this little symbol here that I wanna show you, the little eye with a cross through it, that means it's secret. So have a look and see what's secret and what's not, because I'm guaranteed there will be some events that people can get access to, which they shouldn't. So have a look, hopefully you found it useful. If not, you know how I'm lost. It's only a few minutes video. And But if you did, please leave us a comment to let us know how you found it.